Have you heard? Uh, Tupperware is one of the hottest names on Wall Street right now, but its stock is up more than 400% in the last month. I want to put up this tweet here, at Top Stock Alerts, saying the Tupperware stock soars 90% after debt restructuring agreement. So this new debt restructuring deal could push the stock price even higher. So we want to break down all of the latest on this internet stock phenomenon right now. We're going to be joined by Market Watch's James Rogers. He joins me now with uh, a look at this rapid rise in valuation uh, to a company and a stock that has been on the market for some time. James, good to see you. Um, I think a lot of people are watching this very, very closely here. How do we explain the rapid rise in the stock for Tupperware? I mean, it's been a very, very interesting few weeks for this stock. Um, this is a company that's, you know, quite frankly, beagered. Um, it's embattled. You know, they issued a going concern warning in April. Um, but what we've seen in recent weeks has been this absolute surge in the stock, as you've said. Now, it sparked some conversations that maybe this is meme-like activity, um, you know, the the type of activity that we've seen in you know, classic meme stocks like AMC or GameStop. So I've been looking at this very closely, particularly in the last couple of weeks, and trying to work out, is this another meme stock? Are we going to see this phenomenon again? Um, a trader that I've been in contact with has said, no, we really shouldn't be categorizing this as a meme stock. And what is behind the surge in Tupperware share price in recent weeks has been more to do with technical trading, um, you know, specifically institutions, hedge funds, um, short covering, essentially, you know, massive, massive short covering of the stock. And that's what sparked the recent share price activity. Now, that said, today, as you say, we got the, the announcement of this big debt restructuring deal. And that has just sent the stock stratospheric once again. Um, just before I came on, I checked. I think the stock was up about 90 percent in extended trades. So there's obviously a great, great deal still going on with Tupperware. There's still great, great interest in them. And now I think the bigger question is, you know, how are they going to use this debt restructuring to, to as they say, you know, really affect the turnaround in the company's fortunes? It, it hasn't been an easy few years for Tupperware. Um, you know, this is a company that was, a, was basically, you know, founded in 1946, became a cultural consumer phenomenon in the 1950s with software parties and you know and it, it's become this sort of staple if you will in some ways of american consumer products but recent years not been so kind to the company it's had to undertake massive restructuring i think there are questions about where to get where it targets its products um you know how does it reach younger consumers um this was a company that was pioneer of direct director consumer marketing and now you know it's 2023 and how are you going to get to consumers? You know, the era of the Tupperware web on. So the big question is, what's next? Yeah, James, I guess, so, so you're saying, and, and from everyone that you've spoken to, they're, they're saying this is not, uh, you know, a similar meme stock, stock, rather, like we saw with GameStop back in early 2022. But how do you explain, you know, the recent rise in the stock price? How did it get started? We know with GameStop, it was kind of on social media and all these, you know, amateur investors yeah. you know became aware uh, of this and they started buying gamestop and then selling gamestop is, is that kind of what happened here how did it become known that everyone was going to be buying tupperware stock well i mean this well, you're right in saying that yeah with amc and gamestop there was a real social media component sure to it and um, whether that was wall street bets it or, or you know basically those social media platforms that does not appear to have been the case here. It, the surge has been driven really by institutional buy-in. You know, large, large scale, as I said earlier, short covering. That is what has driven it up. Now, I don't know what's going to be next with this stock. Um, it is, it's, a, it's a big, it's a well-known brand. It's a well-known American brand. Um, the Mimsters do enjoy a turnaround story. Um, you know, they do enjoy a turnaround narrative, an idea of David versus Goliath. And you know success, you know success from the jaws of defeat. So I don't know whether that will feed into this as a potential meme stock um, during the coming days and weeks. But I think for me, the focus is with this debt restructuring today. The company is essentially buying itself time, and it's it's buying itself time to affect this turnaround. So I'm interested now to see 
what the company's fundamentals are going to be moved forward. Um, it's going to use this debt restructuring for, um, you know, how it's going to reposition itself. Tupperware do a lot in recent years. You know, it's back to its core businesses. It's some innovation. Uh, it's, it, that, that's baked into its history. But the question is, like, how do you make that innovation resonate with consumers in 2023? Um, Tupperware had a really good, you know, they, they were one of the beneficiaries of the pandemic in 2020 when, you know, a lot of people were, were at home. They were cooking from home. There was greater awareness of, of how they needed to store their food. So Tupperware really benefited, benefited from that. They saw historic sales growth in many markets, but it's 2023 now. The world's moved on. You know, the big question is what's next for Tupperware as a company. The stock movement's going to be very, very interesting in the next few days. There's no no question about that. But it is, you know, the company that is now looking for relevance again. And, you know, it bought itself some time today. The big question is how does it deliver on that? Yeah, yes, James. Also, I'm kind of curious if if you're expecting or the people that you are, you know, talking to and you're reporting are expecting some type of, you know, drastic denouement where the, the stock price will essentially crash and go down to, you know, possibly where it was trading before all of this, you know, activity was generated. Um, do people expect that or, or is it going to keep climbing here? I mean, it's it, it's it's typical for stock to experience a, a, a significant pullback after a significant spike. It's very, very difficult to predict what's going to happen with one specific stock. What I will say in terms of the recent surge we've seen in the stock as it skyrocketed in the last few weeks is that it wasn't any significant news coming out of the company. That was what made this so interesting. Like, there was nothing you could necessarily... Pin your, pin your hat to and say, right, this is what's caused this surge. Today, we do actually have some significant news in the shape of this debt restructuring deal. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how that plays out during the coming days. All right, uh, James Rogers there with Market Watch. Uh, we appreciate your time and your reporting. And we'll definitely be speaking again. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Good to see you.